What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. On this episode, is a continuation of one of my other episodes where Regan Downey shot the Moana or Moano. But we are gonna go and test your taco eye today. So I'm gonna have a bunch of still frames in this video. So hopefully it helps you find taco holes. All right, let's go holo holo. So brother Regan, Going with Regan Downey diving today, hopefully catch something. Joe's gonna show me his secret spot, so. <laughs> if we catch. <laughs> nah, <laughs> hey, don't forget nothing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here's Regan forgetting his fins, as you remember from the last time. And he forgot his dive float, I just remembered. Look at that. It was actually water clarity, wasn't too bad. Little murky, but not too bad. And here's your boy, brother Regan. And of course, your boy right here, me, Joe Watahara. And gotta check this little taco out. So cute. <laughs> he wasn't even in a hole, really. I just seen him like duck behind this little rock. So I just wanted to show you on film, like how, how small this guy is. Look at that, juke. Right back in. <laughs> we kind of just left him alone. He's way too small to keep. Shoots in peace, baby taco. Okay. This ground looks really good. You see how it's little rubbly rocks? Um, that's what I'm really looking for. Mm. Do you guys see the hole? All right, I'll give you about 10 seconds. Find it, find it, find it. So look for any kind of like overturned rocks, discoloration, um, shells. You guys found it? Let me know. All right, here, I'll show you. Three, two, one. Boom. Let's see if anybody's home. Yeah, yo. you see his leg right there? Nice. All right, so I just had Regan try to take it out for me. That way I could film, because it's a lot harder to try to film and take it out at the same time. So here's brother Regan trying to get him out. Thing is uh, kind of in there. I think I should cut it fast forward because this guy took a long time. Look at this guy, rusty already. <laughs> nah, but he can still get him. Look at this. So he's tickling it out and he got it. Actually, this is well over a pound. So it has to be one pound to be legal to keep, but uh, it's a little small, so we're just gonna let it go. It's still legal, but we um, we kind of want the bigger ones. So we're just letting all the small ones go. So that is catch and release number two. Oh, here we go. Now that's a big hole. Regan found this really, really nice hole. Sometimes they push the sand out like that too, to hide, but Nobody's home, but might as well just check, give it a couple pokes. Ooh, okay, right here. I like to check around these coral heads, these mushroom coral heads, and you see how it's real gravelly around them? Oftentimes, they try to find an easy place to hide or make a hole. This is one of them. Okay, do you see it? I see it. It's kind of hard to see here, but it'll be easier to see once I get close, but I'll just let, your, um, let you try to find it. All right, did you find it? All right, look good. Okay, here we go. I bet you can see it now. This one is pretty obvious. Make sure somebody's home. And look, he's looking right at you. Pretty crazy, huh? He's actually smaller than his hole. Because his hole is pretty good size, but this is probably a taco that took over somebody else's hole. So I'm just trying to get him out right here. And I can tell he's actually decent size just by the suckers. So right here, once you see his eyes come out of the hole, you know his head's coming out next. And what I do is I just grab right there. Grab his head and kind of cover his eyes. This way, he can't really flip over and bite you. And also, um, it makes them easier to kill them. Because I like to use the eyes them really quick. I don't like them to suffer. Most people try to bite them between the eyes. Uh, I can't really do that, so... Um, the easiest way for me I found out was just to take my kui, my stringer, and just poke them right between the eyes until it feels like you're crushing a walnut. In this case, since Regan has my floater, since he got his, I just, I had to brain him with my knife. So this is real easy to do, but be careful because when you use a knife that close to your hand, it's super sharp, so make sure you just don't poke your hand. It's pretty easy to do. That's why I'd rather use the, the kui the, or the stringer. But when I like to just keep pushing around, you feel feel like a crunch, and they'll instantly turn white. 
And lately I've been trying to clean them in the water. That way all the guts and there's no waste. It all goes back to the environment. Other fish can eat it. Okay, right here. Can you see it? This one's really hard only because I'm getting closer into shore. So the water got really murky. But you can kind of make it out. You have to just look really hard and then you probably see it. You guys see it? Anybody home? All right. He's all in the back. You see him kind of scooting back right there? There it is. So what I do is I kind of just touch him with my spear. And once he's in there, you're going to see me start jiggling it. Jiggle the spear. You don't really have to keep jabbing him. Just, just tickle him out softly. And then once his head comes out, you can grab his head. But I could tell this guy was small already, so I'm just going to let him go. So that's catch and release number three. All right. See you later, Taku. All right. Can you guys see this hole? This one's not too obvious, but as I get closer, you'll probably see it really easily. So what I look for is any kind of debris, shells, this, that, any little offset rocks. See, again, this guy's in there looking right at you. Oh, there you go. This one's pretty good size. This is what I'm looking for. Ah, feeling generous. I'll let you go too. What is that? Catch release number four? And actually, that's a pretty good size. But uh, only take what you need, right? See ya. All right, here's a super simple one. This one's, I think all you guys should get this one. You guys got it? All right, cool. Here we go. Let's go see if anybody's home. All right, here, this guy's coming out. So I'm just tickling, tickling him. Once I see his eyes, boom, grab his head. Perfect. This is another nice one. Here we go. And again, I try to, I try to just brain him just like this. See how instantly, once I put it in his brain and I just twist, you feel the crunch, he instantly turns white. That means he's dead, so that's really good. Such an awesome creature. Thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing. I really, really do appreciate all your positive comments and your support, uh, really supporting this channel. Um, thank you guys again, and always remember to take care of yourself, take care of others, and fish safe and fish with aloha. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.